Hey, so in this video I'm going to be taking a look at The Last Photon. This is a story guided platformer that follows the story of Joshua Cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started. It wasn't always like this. Joshua wasn't always like this. So on each level, the narrator kind of progresses through the story. And I play as this little ball that bounces up and down. Uh, the controls are very simple. All you do is press A or D or the arrow keys to move left or right. And that's pretty much all you have control of, and there's no controller support, which is kind of unfortunate. But ever since he lost... he lost it, he hasn't been the same. And the story is pretty, uh, depressing. Um, it's about loss, and depression, and... Uh, it's not the happiest of he tales. He doesn't go out. He doesn't talk to anyone. He barely even lives. The only friend he has left lives inside a bottle. Dozens of bottles, actually. The only friend he has left lives inside a bottle? I'm not entirely sure what that means. Oh. In his sorrow, in his pain, he stopped paying attention to anything beautiful, anything nice, anything that would stand even a lousy chance to make him feel a bit happier. I'm pretty sure that meant he's been drinking. So in his depression, he started drinking, and now he is uh, very sad. Okay, let's go here. The controls are not as precise as I'd like them to be. They're kind of... Uh, irritating at times. One day Joshua Cloud woke up with blurry vision. Unable to recognize objects around him he saw on daily basis. Uh oh. So now Joshua is losing his vision. I guess due to the amount he's been drinking. His life didn't change a lot for him. He kept the same expression on his face. The expression of a man who lost the essence of a happy life. Why is he so sad? Until he lost his sight completely, left blind as a bat. Ah, uh, I do not like this part. It's very hard to time this. Yeah, I lost it. I feel like this game would be a lot more enjoyable with a controller. One thing that's kind of aggravating is that when I'm like holding D, it starts moving very slowly and then it kind of picks up speed. Just makes it hard to control the ball at times. And especially when you're trying to land on these little platforms like this that are going back and forth. Uh, I'm going to try to just make a big jump and then just hold forward and see if I can't make this. There we go. Sweet. Some say his blindness was the result of him not wanting to see and not being able to see beauty and kindness. Others say it was the deed of his good old bottle friend. I do really like the background music though. It's pretty nice. Joshua's side loss didn't go as some would expect. He was frightened to the bottom of his soul, terrified. At that point, it was sheer panic kicking in. Joshua Whoa. used to spend hours daily staring at his wife, Joanna. Her photograph, that is. She is dead. Ah, uh, so he lost his wife and that's why he fell into depression. Oh crap, I way overshot that. So I may not be able to progress too much further just because this game is picking up in difficulty and I don't know, I find the gameplay to be quite annoying 
just because the controls are kind of aggravating. It looks very simple, like to the eye, but if you played it yourself, you would see that the controls are just... Ugh. Like, I'm having trouble just getting on this platform. Oh, crap. I don't know why I'm having such a t hard time with this. It's weird because, like, whenever you hold the button, it, at the beginning it, it's, like, super slow and then it picks up speed, so you kind of have to, like, time your jumps a little early. There we go. Come on. Yes. Nice. It happened two years ago. Rain, slippy roads. Maybe a second or two of recklessness. Nobody's fault, really. Just truly terrible and sad. Alright, so I assume those red things will kill me. Joshua didn't know what to do. This time, seriously. He literally wasn't able to figure out what his next move was going to be. Yep. <laughs> the game was annoying enough without uh, enemies. Now it's just gonna be a real pain. I don't even know how to time these jumps. Ah, dang it. it looks like their hitboxes are really small, but. I don't know. The way this ball moves, it's hard to, like, you can't really control whether it's like a short jump or a long jump. So it's kind of just based on luck, to be honest. There we go. Back when Joshua's life was ordinary, Donnie Green was what you may call his best friend. Donnie Green. Okay, so what is going on here? So I have to somehow jump past that spinning blade. I guess I have to stand here, and then... I don't... wait, I don't understand. I'm having trouble understanding how to get past this obstacle. There we go. That That's weird. I'm not sure how I even got additional height on that. Oh, they're making this way too hard. Oh, dang it. So I may be stuck here for a little while. I'm not a big fan of like super challenging platformers like this. Just because I don't find them to be that fun. I don't like replaying the same stage like over and over again just trying to get past like some super hard obstacle. Man, why did I jump so low there? I don't know. The jumping is weird in this game. There we go. Come on. Yes. Donnie was an unusual guy, although many people who knew him didn't think so. He had a strange skill. He was able to say the right thing in every serious situation he encountered. I wonder if this is like a true story, or just kind of like a made-up tale. You would think it would be a true story because the narrator seems to be using full names. And the story doesn't seem to be like fabricated that much. Uh. But from what I, what I read, you are the last photon in the main character's brain. I guess at the end of the story he's probably gonna die. Dang it. 
it is pretty sad though, like, he lost his wife, and then he lost the will to live, pretty much, and then he lost his vision, so what's the point of life after you lose your vision? I would have no idea what to do if I was blind. You couldn't do anything, to be honest. Just sit there. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult. Why is this game so hard? There we go. Ever since Johanna's death, Donny kept leaving voice messages every day after the same phrase. Hello, you've reached the clouds. Careful not to fall back to the ground. Leave the message after the beep. <laughs> beep. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Your last name is Clouds, so in their answer machine. Be careful not to fall back to the ground. Joshua never even thought about picking up the phone or answering the messages. Until now, but the problem was, he couldn't see the phone anymore. Ah. Uh. I'm getting to that point where I'm getting overly frustrated and I might have to stop this video soon. Just so I don't get too aggravated. Some people find games like this to be enjoyable and relaxing, but when it gets to this point where I'm just like replaying the same stage over and over again, I find it to be beyond annoying. I guess it's kind of like rewarding sometimes to be able to get past a super like difficult stage in certain games, but to be honest, like this just doesn't feel fun at all. <laughs> But, I don't know, I think some people might enjoy this. Some people really love the uh, very difficult platforming genre. Dang it. If the spikes didn't move up and down, this wouldn't be so bad. And if they weren't so close together over there... Man, you have to be so precise, and the problem is the game doesn't let you be precise. And there's no controller support, so it's just like, ugh, I can't do anything about this. Yeah, I guess I'll try to land on the edge, and then, oh, damn it, that didn't work. So I think I'm going to try a few more times, and then I'll probably just end this here. Um, kind of a sad tale. It looks like his friend is trying to help him, so hopefully... His friend will help him later on in the story. Okay, I made it. Oh no, yes. Wow, that was lucky. Luckily, the last dialed number was Donnie two years ago. So after 10 minutes, Joshua managed to press redial and hung up as soon as he heard Donnie's voice, which was too hard for him to keep listening or even say anything. But to Donnie, it was enough. Oh my gosh! Wow. The luck. Sort of strange, but their meeting wasn't awkward at all. They just started talking like they used to talk two years before. Before all the terrible events in Joshua Cloud's life. I've had experiences like that, where you don't talk to a friend for a super long time, and then you talk to him, and it's like... It's like, nothing ever happened. <laughs> Especially after high school, when you stop talking to friends, and then like a long time later, like years later, you talk to someone, and they're just like, oh, you're the same exact person that I met in high school. Alright, so this is really, really annoying. Oh my god.
God, the controls are awful. Uh, for a platformer, using keyboard controls just is not the way to go. You really need to have a controller support. I mean, some people may like using keyboard for platformers, but it's just not my thing. I grew up on consoles, so... Controllers feel way more natural, at least with, uh, platformers. Okay, I'm gonna try- this is gonna be my last attempt. If I die here... yep. Okay. So, I think I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks for watching. Again, this game is called The Last Photon. I'll leave a link in the description below to the store page, so you can check it out for yourself. Um, if you like platformers like this, and you are interested in the story, maybe you'll have a good time. Maybe it'll be worth it in the end to discover uh, what happens. And there's 50 levels total, and I think there's like 51 dialogue options. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I think so. So I'm pretty sure we... I think we probably completed about 15 to 20 stages, so... I don't know, if this game gets harder than this, I have a hard time... <laughs> like imagining anyone beating this game but some people may take that as a challenge and complete it but yeah thanks for watching and i hope you guys have a nice day